What's going on guys? Just wanted to show you my brand new 2018 Honda Pioneer 500. I just put the uh, brand new wheels and tires on it. Let me see if I can back this up a little bit. Just put the brand new wheels and tires on it. I did not sell the 2018 R1 for this. I, I still have it. It's actually in the living room right now. Um, but if you follow my Instagram, you'll know that I just recently bought some acreage in Southwest Florida, which I've always lived. <clears throat> but um, I wanted something to be able to work and play a little bit on the property and we're gonna make some trails and stuff. So I bought this. And uh, those are 2710-14s. Those are the uh, MSA um, uh, core wheels. And it has given me quite a bit more ground clearance. It looks like a monster to me now. Oh, and my new DR trimmer. That's, uh, that's for the property too. That just came in. And then the mini bikes for my dad for Christmas, which I blacked out the forks and plastic dipped the headlight. Looks pretty sweet now. This thing's pretty awesome actually. Anyways, <laughs> back to this. So yeah, this thing's awesome. I put this uh, rear rack on it. <clears throat> And I put these little seats for the kids, fold-up seats, so all four of us can ride and the dog. How oh, well you can see this light sucks right now. But yeah, I think the moto claws look awesome on this thing. Hopefully it still fits on the trailer. It should, but it's going to be close. And then uh, I moved the seat belt over, so technically we could fit five people. Really tight, little kids. This is just for cruising, we're not racing around nothing. Everybody knows these aren't speed demons, but I will say it's not bad. I've had Rhino 450s, Rhino 700s, I've had Rangers, I've had two Rangers, Ranger Crew, um, Razor, I've had them all, and... Um, this is really not bad, you know, it makes it fun. It's an automatic, but it also has the uh, paddle shifters, which makes it fun to ride around on too. That's pretty cool. And my little ram mount up there for a phone. This I actually kind of really built for my wife and the kids <clears throat> so they can ride it around. I'm still uh, in my neighborhood right now. We brought this property to build a house on eventually. It won't be but a year or two until um, we're out there. But for the time being, uh, this thing's awesome to blast around on out there. We got a ton of work to do on it still. And I'll start to do a little, um, some shots of the property and maybe a video of the property and show the progress. There's a lot of woods on it, which is awesome, which is why I love the property for possibly single track, uh, dirt bike eventually one day and just woods riding in general, you know, um, it'd be pretty cool. So anyways, there it is guys, and you could see how the difference there, puny the stock tires are. And I had about eight and a half, nine inches of ground clearance before, let me see, right to this plate. And I'm about, let's see, uh, about 11 inches now. You can see that. About 11 inches. This used to be right at 12 before, right here at this corner. It's now at um, 13 and three quarter, roughly. So it's definitely gained some, but wow, the difference looks amazing. Anybody can Google and see what a stock one looks like. They're pretty cheesy looking, although I like it. It wasn't bad, but wow, it looks like a totally different machine now. So anyways, I'll get some riding videos of this, of the property. I'll let you guys kind of check it out, but yeah. All right, guys. See you.